this is like the second or third TNS I've seen him here in a row, so he was, he was about that last night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still anyway, going into game one, we're going to go ahead and have some careful neutral from both players, but Cross going to go ahead and make the first open up, but not quite confirm that into a combo. Yeah. Great forward smash by GDX, reading that jump in by uh, Cross. And that's, that's what a lot of Palutena's do, I've noticed. They, they're they so like used to their aerials being safe that they will that they have the ha habit of jumping into people. Kind of like uh, Smash 4 Sheik-esque, you know what I mean? Quite. So, like right there. Yeah. Oh, and that was a nice two-hit yeah. confirm there. Paid yeah. off for him, though. I think he might have taken his jump, or I, maybe... He, he must have caught the frame one jump. Either that or GDX made a tech Maybe. Error, but yeah. either way, we're going to have GDX go... Oh, no! Wow. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> I thought he directional air dodged for a second. Yeah. That was almost very fortunate. Oh, oh, that's it. Speaking of... <laughs> <laughs> this so is game two. <laughs> so air dodge central. We're going to go ahead and close this out. Starting off with a an aborted air train into a back air from yeah. Cross. You know what? Can Lucina like can she up be out of shield? Let's say if, if she shields like a Palutena like falling forward air or back air, can she up be it for a true punish? I'm I wonder. A true punish? I don't quite think so. For uh, if Cross tries to overpress his shield pressure for sure. Okay. So cool. it, and just like that, we don't even need to see up B when we can see a nice grab. Yeah, so that's true. Because grab sets up much better pressure for follow-ups and still has him on the ledge here. And oh, all well, right. I, think I respect the shield breaker. He's starting to anticipate more of Cross's shield, just like there. Yeah. And hoping that Shield Breaker would go ahead and dissuade him from doing that. But so far, Cross is wise to his game, and still putting out those shields. Yeah. GDS is so non-committal. He's kind of just playing the defensive game, letting letting Cross approach him. Because I think it's half letting Cross approach him and half knowing Cross is going to approach him. Absolutely. So, right. See, like right here, he's not. Yeah, the, yeah. the mid range, like that control of GDX's burst movement just lets him kind of make GDX stop moving. Yeah, GDX only punishing when he knows he can, and he's not even approaching that, that hard when he doesn't have to. He's, uh. Oh, wow. You can that tell he's been playing. That was the time. most amazing spot dodge I've seen today. Yeah. So, right now, we're seeing GDX just kind of only going for what's given to him still and yep. cross is getting a little bit comfortable with that going all the way down for the low drifts yeah and whoever oh, wow what a call out i was just about to say if cross takes the stock first gdx might be in some trouble because he's okay <laughs> never mind i mean we're gonna i, I stand corrected that's a lucina back air in his face <laughs> you know what though i would I like to say it was a nice back air <laughs> i'm not saying that we all, I, we I, all heard it i would like to see gdx use some more um dancing blade though for uh whip on his and right here, we're, they're definitely having a close game up here with GDX having a small percent lead, but Cross is, oh, that was a good reaction, but he just was a little overzealous on that dash back. Yep. And, oh, wow. We need to jump. This could be it. Just barely too slow on the explosive flame. It was so important that he missed that explosive flame because yeah. that would have popped him up in such a bad situation. Yep. He would have still gotten his air dodge back. Oh, no. Oh, what, what, what a, a way flub. to go. Oh, my God. So Both players clubbing at like the worst possible times. Much respect to Cross for keeping his game face on. Still ready, ready to just go. And so game two, I I, I would expect GDX to try and ban platform stages. Yeah, well, specifically Battlefield or Triplast going in. It, and it looks like we're going to have him go into a flat. Yeah, because, well, I think that's really good for Cross because the Nair loops, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nair loops and... Just general uh, the projectile game. And yeah. sword characters are really good at sharking from below platforms because they don't even have to leave the ground. They can just up to it. But GDX actually switching to Diddy Kong. I, re well, I respect the counter pick. Diddy Kong on a flat stage like FD. Absolutely. Well, that's that's why GDX didn't ban the flat stage because he specifically knew that this counter pick was available. All right. And he, that's the best part of having multiple characters is you can just counter pick your opponent for counter pick. Ultimate is a multiple character game right now in my opinion. Absolutely. So, like all evidence points to that. I agree, yeah. So, and just like that, we're having a very strong start from GDX, controlling the ground here. But now it's Cross's turn to get something started. Yep. So here, we're going to go ahead and have GDX still controlling this ledge. And right now, Cross is not comfortable. And he's just getting the hands. Yep, this is where GDX gets his mileage, the ledge trapping game from Diddy Kong. Yeah, and right now, Cross really needs stage control. Oh, that's going to go ahead and close out the first spawn. He gave up that ledge position a little bit, but he still, he still he, worked out. It, so. GDX knew he was going to try and run really? it. Really? 
at once he was given the stage because Cross, all right. Cross is not showing an in-depth knowledge of the matchup. So most people, when they play Diddy and see the opportunity to leave a legend they can get off of, take it. So it's just a great positional bait from GDX, <laughs> and he's carrying it and already lapped him in percent from it. And it's just displaying absolute dominance this game so far. Yeah. Again, just like Sock 1. Oh, it does the fade back just like Sock 1, but except Cross not falling for this time, but still getting forward smash mid-stage. Not going to kill, though. But that... Ooh, ooh, if he did not have that banana, he would have backed her. But again, not the forward smash. That was such good coverage. Like, this isn't even reactions or hit confirms. This is just pure positioning, pure smarts yeah. from GDX. And just like then, he wasn't trying to fight. He's not trying to get to the ledge. He just wanted to go high and then just not even play the game and just reset to neutral. I think this game really is exemplifying how comfortable GDX is with Diddy Kong. And Cross is just not comfortable right now. And yep. the problem is, is he's just struggling to get in because Diddy is a very small character with a very big shield and a very bigger banana. And oh my god. GDX read that. Yeah, he read that spot dodge right before too with the monkey flip. I, I wanted to comment on that. It's GDX is just, he's getting his mileage off ledge traps and reads. It, he's got Cross's patterns down. Cross had finally got that kill, but outside of GDX making some technical errors, Cross just had shown him it. Yeah, I like that landing by Cross, though, the teleport landing. Yeah. I'm All right, he's, he's doing something big off this. Cross is starting to make some risks, but he's not getting the high rewards. Yep. Now is the time to make the big risks. It's all or nothing right now. Oh, man. my God. Oh, that's going to close it out. Yeah. Sorry. All right, folks, this is Tony getting off. I'm going to go ahead and go play some tournament sets. I'll be right back. Have a great night.